take a deep breath in. As you breathe in, breathe in a slow, calm breath, filling you with a feeling of relaxation. And as you exhale, just allow any feelings of worry, stress or tension to feel like it's leaving your body in your outward breath. Allow your eyelids to close. And as they close, direct your focus and your attention inwards. Notice any sensations in your body. And that might be tension in your neck or your shoulders. The rate of your breathing. Maybe you can notice your heart rate or a pulse. But as you breathe in and breathe out, allow your body to let go. To let go of any feelings of stress and tension that you've been holding on to. As you breathe in and breathe out, I want you to imagine that you're reading a children's storybook. I want you to imagine this children's storybook is a book about the mythical phoenix. That mythical bird associated with resurrection and renewal. Maybe there's images in this children's book of a majestic and mythical bird, large and beautiful, with feathers that shine like gold and red. And it was said that this bird, the phoenix, lived for hundreds of years before undergoing a remarkable transformation. Because at the end of its long life, the phoenix builds a nest, usually made from aromatic branches and spices. But then it ignites the nest, engulfing itself in flames. But from the ashes of this fiery blaze, a new phoenix arises, reborn and renewed. And I wonder what would happen if you thought of your life up to now as the old version of you. And I wonder what would happen If you could take all of the knowledge of the past, all of the wisdom you've accumulated, all of the insights about who people are and what people want, but to let go of all the emotions, enabling you to be reborn, renewed, like the phoenix arising from the ashes. I want you to imagine what it would be like to have a future where you keep all of what's good but let go of all those things that no longer serve you. Any beliefs, any fears, any insecurities. What would it be like to leave those behind? You are not the same person you were in the past. No longer a child. No longer the responsibility of your parents or family. You are the architect 
of your destiny. I want you to imagine a bright light surrounding you. Maybe a bright white light, a healing light, cleansing away all past betrayals and hurtful memories. I want you to scan your body for where you feel those past betrayals. Maybe there's a weight, a tension, a tightness. And feel the weight of those past betrayals slowly lifting from your shoulders, allowing you to breathe freely and deeply. Use the power of your imagination to imagine a beautiful, peaceful lake. And imagine yourself standing at the edge of that lake. And I want you to imagine any hurtful memories, any fears, insecurities, or beliefs are like leaves going onto the surface of that lake. And you can see them floating on the water. But I want you to see them gently drifting away from you. And you already know that forgiving doesn't mean forgetting. Instead it means releasing the grip those memories have on your present. I want you to protect what is good, what is positive, and imagine a protective barrier forming around you, like an impenetrable shield. This barrier only allows positive energy to enter your life. As you acknowledge that your boundaries are like your fortress, protecting your heart, mind and spirit from those who seek to invade your privacy. And as you release any shame or guilt that has held you captive, you now accept that they have no place in your present or your future. And I want you to think about that future. A bright future where you are in control of your own narrative. Confidently sharing your story with the world because you choose to share it. Not because someone has discovered it. And as you realize that you're in control of your own narrative, it enables you to embrace your uniqueness and cherish your individuality. You accept yourself for who you are. Any improvements you want to make is just your choice. Not the obligation, not the requirement of what other people want. Because those judgments from others are often a reflection of their own insecurities and biases, not a measure of your worth. So there is no shame, there is no guilt. Allow yourself to take back the reins of your life steering your life in the direction that brings you joy and fulfillment. And every day is a fresh start. A new opportunity to let go of the past and embrace the possibilities of the present. Forgiveness is not a sign of weakness, but a powerful choice to free yourself from any shackles of anger and resentment. And I want you to feel a sense of empowerment growing within you, a surge of confidence and 
and self-assuredness. And as you think about that future, imagine walking towards that future. And as you move forward, let the past be a teacher, guiding you to make better choices and set stronger boundaries. In life, you don't get what you deserve. You get what you tolerate. And these strong boundaries communicate to yourself and to others what you tolerate and what is not acceptable for you. And the past doesn't have to mean it's your future. So I want you to imagine yourself in your future, surrounded by a supportive circle of friends and loved ones who celebrate you for who you are, your authenticity, with no agenda. Allow the lessons of your past to shape you into a stronger, wiser, and more resilient individual. You don't desire a future of anger, bitterness, resentment, and shame. So let go of all of those emotions. You are wiser, stronger than you've ever been before. And everything that's led up to this point has just been reconnaissance. You can trust people until they show you who they really are. But when you know who they really are, accept that that's who they are and treat them accordingly. And as you do that, feel a deep sense of peace and contentment washing over you, like a gentle, soothing wave. If people want to know about your life, that's a compliment. They either care about you or they're curious. But what you share is up to you. You are in control of your destiny. You are the author of your narrative. You decide what you share and who you share it with. And if people take an interest in following you and your life, so what? Because your life is now filled with positivity, self-acceptance, each day brighter than the last. And as you let go of the past, forgive those you're ready to forgive. Feel how good it feels to move forward with confidence and self-acceptance as you return to the present, taking a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, feel like you're in your body in this moment and feel that lightness. You've let go of the shame, any obligations, any anger and resentment and feel empowered, lifted. As I now count from one to ten to awaken you, you will awaken feeling that In the book of your life, you're about to start a brand new chapter, starting to count, one, two, three, waking up, four, five, six, more alert, seven, eight, open your eyes, open your eyes, nine, ten, wide awake, wide awake, wide awake.